Menage a Trois, Three in a Bed, BBC, the Met Police, and the good old British government. Jill Dando, lovely lady, successful, the face of broadcasting, news, holiday programmes, crime, TV, journalism. She was at the top of her game. On the red carpet, glamorous, just a, a lovely, lovely person, a bubbly personality. Was that the key to her downfall? The fact that she was so successful. She was murdered just over 25 years ago on the doorstep to her house, 11.30 just after in the morning. Nobody heard a shot. There's talk of modified bullets, maybe silenced, one to the back of the head. That's no normal killing. It takes a bottle and planning to do something like that. A guy was seen running away. There's four witnesses there or thereabouts. The Mirror did an investigation about three weeks ago. Go and have a look on YouTube. A brilliant piece of journalism that asks questions. So the, the guy, the guy running away in a suit, he was almost knocked over by a white car. An eyewitness described a man in a suit running for his life, sweating. The same man was nearly knocked down by a van as he entered a park. Highest profile person. Eyewitness. Man running away from the scene. He got on a bus. They know the time. He was seen walking into a station, glancing up at the cameras and leaving the station. That man possibly was a Serbian assassin, a leader of one of these death type squads. Facial recognition, quite possibly him. Running away from the scene. It'd be a full year before the Met Police investigated this. The eyewitness, when shown a picture of the possible assassin, is 100% sure it's the same guy, Serbian. Let's not forget, the old Met Police, boy was there a lot there. I remember seeing the crime scene, yeah? Coppers everywhere. How many people do you think were involved in this investigation? How many coppers, detectives and the like do you think honestly believed hand on heart that Barry George, for want of a better word and no disrespect to his family, a simpleton, he had learning disabilities, Barry George was the guy who committed this murder. How many do you think? Remember the menage a toi. So George was locked up, Barry George, for eight years. On appeal, he was released. The judge stated quite clearly the jury 
unbelievably have been misled. One of the key factors in locking this guy up was gunshot residue. Jury misled. The British public, there's somebody in prison for murdering the darling of British TV. Serbian. Don't make sense, does it? About this time, there was a lot of, a lot of troubles in Serbia. There was a lot going on. The good old USA, the British government, led by our esteemed Tony Blair, bombed a radio TV station in Belgrade. I think it's Claire Shaw MP put a statement out saying this was a legit target of the good old USA and British government due to the fact he was putting out propaganda. 17 people died. Cameraman, makeup, hair specialists. I'll come back to them in a second. 17 people died. It was off the air for six hours. Six hours, 17 people dead, a legit target. Now let's get to the phone calls now. And to me, it starts to make sense. There was a couple of phone calls. The first one to the good old BBC said, you've killed 17 of ours, cameramen, hair specialist makeup, young people, you've taken 17 young lives. We've taken one of yours. The highest profile person she was, Jill Dando, assassinated. There was a second phone call, similar content, threatening to take out the head of the BBC. Yeah? Is it starting to make sense? Maybe. Because 25 years on, her friends are staying unsolved murder. Barry George's sister is still trying to clear his name. A whole host of police, detectives, constables, whole nine yards, put together a case that put Barry George in prison for eight years. There was nothing else. Let me tell you something else about this witness. Yeah. A Met Inspector wrote him off after the inquiry a year after the assassination because he couldn't have made or been in the train station after getting on the bus. The Mirror did a, an amazing piece of work. Yeah. They got on said bus, travelled the distance in moderate traffic, stopping for people to get on and get off and they made the station with a couple of minutes to spare. Serbian assassin, now serving 40 years for two assassinations in his own country. One guy shot in the back of the head on his doorstep. I'm just gonna leave it there. Food for thought. Thanks for your continued support. God bless Jill Dando. Barry George's family, his sister, fighting for a brother and Jill Dando. Unsolved murders, thousands of videos and content in YouTube, documentaries. But still no answers. Renage à toi. God bless you all. Real poor, real poor, infamous crime. Real people, real people, real stories. Real stories. Those bees go by your eyes.